Okay, so the question for the week for broadcast five. I know we're already at five, that's crazy. Um, this is your fault. Insert terrible person's name. Or is it? What is the relationship between blaming and responsibility? Think about what some of your biggest problems are in school. Do you blame anyone for these problems? So I think the root of the question is, is who is responsible for the things that go on in our lives? So is it, you know, going back to someone that none of you have ever heard of, um, there was a comedian back in the like late 70s, early 80s that uh, uh, was called Flip Wilson. Flip Wilson had a, a comedy routine where he would um, like very loud and kind of uh, flamboyantly, I guess, would say, the devil made me do it. So it was like this, uh, you know, no matter what, you know, he, he would always say that line as, as, as the punchline of everything. Um, so what are your thoughts about that? I mean, if are you in control of your actions or not? I mean, I think that we get in trouble just fine all by our onesies without having to have a, a horned, sleuth-footed, you know, tail-having, pickaxe-carrying devil to come and, and poke us and prod us into getting in trouble. I don't think we need that. I think we do fine on our own. I think that a lot of times we use stuff like that as a crutch. And I think that's kind of the root of the question, not necessarily, you know, there's the devil out there pushing people into doing stuff or whatever. But um, but are you responsible for your own stuff? So the question is about what are your biggest problems in school? So if you look at the things that are that trouble you about going to college and, and the things that you know irritate you or whatever, to put it bluntly, whose fault is that? I mean, if if there's something in your life that causes you irritation and you continue to do it, is that somebody else's fault? I mean, can I be like, my mom and dad made me go to college and they suck because I'm not doing well. Mom and dad are not taking the tests. Mom and dad are not doing the work. And apparently somebody is not doing it either. Um, so this, the root I think of this question is more to get down to taking responsibility for your own actions, taking responsibility for what's going on in your life and just saying, if if I'm responsible for everything that's going on in my life, then I can fix it. Instead of, it's Saddam Hussein's fault, it's you know Obama's fault, it's Romney's fault, it's you know whoever, insert name here, fault that things are the way they are, then you don't have to do anything. You don't have to fix anything. You don't have to work. You can just sit back and say, well, I would, but I can't do anything about what's going on. It's not my fault. Come on. You're in college because you want to improve your life. You're in college, hopefully, because you want to have a better better choices in life, better opportunities, um, those won't come if you blame everybody else for what goes on in your life. If, and I'll throw this out there, and no individual is meant by this statement, but if there's a date that something is due in class, and it's not done, then whose fault is that? I mean, it's it's not as though your instructors go around and put up obstacles and roadblocks to keep you from being able to get your work done. I mean, that doesn't happen. That's ridiculous. Or that we give you so much work that it's literally impossible to get anything done. That's not true. Um, but college is work. College is sacrifice. College is not easy. For some people, high school was a cakewalk. 
I, I know looking back, I mean, I'm not, you know, not bragging or anything like that, but I mean, and high school English sucked, and I hated it, and I'm not an English uh, major by any stretch of the imagination, but, I mean, high school wasn't like cramming all night for stuff, and, you know, having to work crazy, crazy tough, and, and sacrifice to get grades, I mean, granted, you know, a C is a grade, or whatever, you know, passing grade, but when I got to college, Jack, it was all over with, but the shouting, you lost all of your free time sometimes when it came to like when you had finals coming up or you had midterms coming up or you had a big huge paper that you had to write or, or a project or whatever I mean I was like this was you know many years ago but I was in the, the library for you know it seemed like days getting stuff done and, and just up for hours and for days and days and days and it just it was work, but it's worth it. But you have to accept the fact that you're the one that's responsible for it and get it done. So I'm going to step down off my soapbox. Um, but just remember, the things that you can control is what we talked about a couple of weeks ago. The problems that you have control over, fix them, and they won't be problems anymore. The ones that you have a little bit of control over, do what you can and then move on. The ones that you can't do anything about, move on. Forget it. Done. But the things that you're responsible for, handle it. That's the soapbox. Bye.